Hello, welcome back to my audiobook recording studio. Um, okay, so as I've been recording the book, there's nuggets that jump out at me where I'm like, oh my God, people need to know this. Speaking of nuggets, wish I had a dime for every time I said that. Um, one of the suggested names from Sharon, thank you, Sharon, was Nuggets from the Niche, maybe. If you have better ideas of what we're calling this, would you please email me, leave it in the comments. But the, the nugget that I'm gonna uh, share with you today has to do with simplifying and shortening your exercise routine. I have this thing that I call 10, 10, 10. So many people assume exercise is something we must do in large spans of time, all in one session, 30, 45, or 60 minutes. Who has such large chunks of time to set aside? So most of us don't do anything at all. Let me tell you, 10, 10, 10 is the most beautiful number combination you'll ever lay eyes on. The good news is research shows that physical activity accumulated throughout the day in three 10 minute bouts can be just as effective for improving fitness and decreasing body fat as exercising once for 30 minutes straight. Experiments have compared groups of people who either exercised for 30 consecutive minutes or achieved 30 minutes of exercise through three 10 minute bouts throughout the day. At the conclusions of the studies, results for both groups were similar, if not better, in the 10-10-10 group. There are several benefits to breaking our workouts into 10-10-10 instead of exercising for 30 consecutive minutes. First, instead of getting only one EPOC afterburn, that's energy post-exercise oxygen consumption, blah, 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 it's in the book. Um, it's when your metabolism speeds up. So instead of getting only one metabolism speed up after exercise, we get three. This means we boost our metabolism three times during the day. Plus we enjoy not one, but three opportunities to burn extra fat and calories after we work out. Second, exercise snacks, multiple brief bouts can control blood glucose levels better than a single continuous workout. So you guys, a recent study had participants do high intensity cardiovascular intervals, alternating one minute of work and one minute of recovery for a total of 12 minutes. On a different day, the participants did one minute of high intensity cardiovascular work, followed by one minute of resistance training for a total of another 12 minutes. Then on another day, they did one continuous moderate workout for 30 minutes. The results were striking. Each of these exercise snacks lowered and regulated the participants' blood glucose levels during the workouts, and then the beneficial effects lasted roughly 24 hours from just 12 minutes of work. The participants not only saw better results from the exercise snacks than the continuous training, but they also enjoyed the snack format better than the longer sustained workout. Third, we're more likely to get consistent regular exercise if we break it into the 10-10-10 format. We should approach a regular exercise routine with the mindset that every little bit counts and that we'll get it where and when we can. We'll accumulate more minutes of exercise over the long run. 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, done consistently on a daily basis really adds up over time. Obviously, this can be useful when trying to fit resiliency training or physical activity into a busy schedule. Fourth, 10-10-10 gives us an opportunity to burn more fat and calories. If I asked you to exercise for 30 minutes without stopping, You'd pace yourself and work at a moderate intensity to make sure you'd last the full 30 minutes. But if I asked you to work out for just 10 minutes without stopping, you'd work much harder. You'd know it was a short period of time so you could give it all you've got. And then if I asked you to do three of these 10 minute bouts while working really hard, it'd add up to more fat and calories burned than one 30 minute session at a moderate intensity. 
10, 10, 10 is a great way to fit in exercise and has several advantages over longer workouts. I am a huge advocate of breaking things up. Intensity matters. Anyway, if you have a great idea of what we should be calling this series, let me know if you want your copy of the Resiliency Revolution. It's right here. Uh, you can get the audio book so we can, you know, hang out together auditorially. Um, you can get the print version or the electronic version. So enjoy, get your bits, and I'll see you soon.